the morning come all the saints of God all the saints of God we'll be gathering home we'll be gathering home we will tell the story we will tell the story how we overcome how we overcome understand it better understand it better understand it better by and by amen one day we will understand better by and by church sometimes we don't understand the thing we're going through we don't understand some of the suffering some of the trials and tribulations we have to go through down here. But one day, by and by, we will understand. Good morning, Green Meadow. Have God been truly good to us? Church, I want to say, is Satan trying to hold you back? Or trying to stop you? Tell old Satan, today is not your day. And by the way, Tomorrow is not looking good either. Have God been good to you? Just I want to say once again, we want to thank the Lord for last Sunday when our two young ladies stepped out and gave Christ their heart. Church, that's a blessing. And we want to keep encouraging the rest of our young kids, uh, not just kids, or everyone that don't have a, a relationship that they can step out boldly and put on Christ. Church, if you have your Bible, I ask you to meet me in the Old Testament. In the beginning, the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse number 1. Now see, the devil, Satan, is seeking whom he may decide, deceive, and trick. But church, in the book of Genesis, it tells the story of many beginning. The beginning of the universe. The beginning of sin. Church, we, 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 we want to talk about the beginning. Church, for instance, Adam and Eve sinned which was the first sin of disobedience against God. Church, that's where I want to come from today, in the Old Testament. But church, I want to say one thing to you. Sin is never worth the price you will have to pay. Church, one great power of sin is that sin blinds you so that you don't recognize the true character. Church, sin will take you far than you want to go. And it will keep you longer than you want to stay. Church, in verse number one of chapter number three, it says, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the law had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, you must not eat from any tree in the garden. Well, the woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the tree in the garden. But God did say, you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. And if you must not touch, or you will die. Well, church, you got to see that old serpent. He's tricking now. He said, you must not surely die. The serpent said to the woman, he said, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Well, when the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and the pleasing of the eye and, and desire to gain wisdom, church, she took some and ate it. She gave, also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Church, then the eyes of both of them were open, 
and they realized, sir, they were naked. So they sold fig leaves together and made a covenant for themselves. Church, I, I'm trying to take you somewhere. I'm trying to show you how the devil will trick you if you're not being careful. Well, church, then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees in the garden. But the Lord God called the man. He said, where are you? He, he, and the man answered. He said, I heard you in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid. And the Lord said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I command you not to eat from? Well, let me pause here for a few minutes and try to contemplate on a subject. If I could use a subject today, I would say, I would say to the church, don't be fooled by Satan. Three points and the lesson would be yours. Stop pointing fingers. Stop hiding. Right. Stop blaming the other. Right. It been, it, from the beginning, uh -huh. they were doing that. Right. Church, I just want to say one thing. The Bible said the serpent was more crafted than any wild animal yeah, the that the Lord had made. Right. Right. I, I want you to think about it. All the animals, uh, all the species yeah. in this world. But the serpent, this snake, yes, sir. was more crafty. Yes, sir. Meaning, he's slick. Uh -huh. slick. He's tricky. Yes, sir. He's dishonest. Yes, sir. He's cute. Uh -huh. He's smart. Yeah. They say he's even shy. Uh -huh. He's even shy. If you ever walk up on a snake mm -hmm. and you notice he's trying to hide from you. Oh, he's shy. He's peeping. He's peeping at you. Oh, he's not afraid of you. He's shy. He don't want you to uh, identify him. So he's hiding from you. So be careful when you see a snake. Church, Satan, the devil, a snake, will fool you to point your finger. He will fool you to hide. He will fool you to blame others. Satan will have you making up excuses. Satan will put a monkey on your back and ask you how he got there. Yes, uh -huh. Satan, that's how, say, that's how the devil works. Uh -huh. But church, I'm here to say, be on guard. Yes, Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as I stand here, Lord, I ask you to speak to me that someone will understand better by and by. So you see, we are being attacked every day about, by Satan. And see, everyone wants to point finger, hide, and blame other. Church, no one wants to stand up and take responsibility for their own mistake. That, that, that's what's wrong with the world today, church. Someone, someone, or some of us are still blaming our parents yeah. for how we turn out yeah. today. Right. Church, all I can say, you have to understand. You have to give account mm -hmm. for yourself. All, right. all the killing in the school. Who are they blaming? Church, when, 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 when you point one finger, three fingers is pointing back at you. Can I show you? If I point my finger, three is pointing back at me. So I said, be careful how you point finger. Church, when, when, when you point one finger, oh, just think about it. Someone pointing at you. When, when, church, stop blaming and making up mistake, uh, excuses. 
See, when, when we drop out of high school, we blame our teacher. When we didn't get a promotion on our job, we blame our boss. We lost our driver's license, and we blame the police. Who are we going to blame next? Church, someone are being blamed as I speak today. She didn't speak to me this morning. He didn't shake my hand this morning. Church, this is a bunch of nonsense. This is foolish. Church, I, I'm just trying to paint a picture to show you how quick we are to blame one another and point finger as we hide from the truth. So I hear. Church, how can we make this world a better place if we continue to point finger, blame each other, and hide? Church, when Adam and Eve disobeyed God, they immediately became ashamed of their body, and they wanted to hide, Brother Ellis. Ever since that moment, people have been hiding from each other and from God. Over in the book of Jonah, chapter 1, church. Now, Jonah thought he could hide from God by running away. But church, as he was swallowed up by that great fish, you can run, Brother Thompson. But you cannot hide from an all seen eye, God, Brother Larry. Church, the Bible says that serpent was crafty, smart, and tricky. The serpent went to the woman because he knew the woman was supposed to be the weaker vessel. Church, so, so the serpent, he tricked Eve. Church, if you notice in verse number nine, the Lord God didn't go to the woman first. God went to the man. God called the man. He said, where are you? Church, but Adam was so quick to blame the woman by pointing his finger at her. Church, that's that woman you gave me. That's what Adam said to God. That woman you gave me. Church, today, one of man's biggest fear and probably the main threat to our spiritual life is the fear of exposure. Church, no one wants to be exposed. They want to hide. Church, Adam and Eve was hiding because they felt exposed. Which, church, when finance pressure comes, we pretend everything is okay, so we hide. When life becomes hard, we pretend it isn't, so we hide. When we struggle with depression, or when our marriage has cooled down, we just smile and say, I'm fine. But that's the phrase men use when they're hiding behind the fig leaf. I know this because I was one of them that I hid. Church, we cannot, we are not created to hide. Church, I learned that we, are ne we will never live the life God had designed for us if we continue to hide. Church, we as people, we're still doing the same thing back from the beginning. Hiding, pointing fingers, and blaming others. When we should be on our knees, praising God, thanking God, now that our eyes have been opened. Church, see, on our job, we point fingers. In our home, we point fingers. In relationship, we point fingers. Church, in the White House, our leaders are pointing fingers. Church, when will this nonsense ever quit? Well, church, now they are blaming each other. Church, blaming each other requires no faith. Church, blaming someone is so easy to do. 
but it, it's wrong, church. It's bad. It, it's evil. It's sinful. Church, the Republican blaming the Democrat. The church blaming the preacher. The preacher blaming the elder. The elder blaming the deacon. The deacon blaming the members. The husband blaming the wives. The wife blaming the kids. The kid blaming the parent. And the parent blaming the school. Church, when will this nonsense ever stop? Who are you blaming? Church, Satan is trying to control our everyday thinking and our behavior. Church, open the book of John, chapter 9, round verse number 1. There was a man blind from birth. As the disciple passed the blind man, they couldn't help but to ask, who is to blame? Is it their parent because he was born blind? They were so quick to blame someone, but there was no one to blame. God does something, church, to show his power and his grace. See, all illness and tragedy doesn't mean Someone sinned or, or, or did wrong, church. See, God came down on this earth not to point finger. Jesus came down on this earth, church, to work miracle. Church, he healed the sick. He gave sight to the blind. Church, he, he, he raised the dead. Church, he even turned water into wine. He fed 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread. Church, see, all the glory goes to God if we allow Jesus to perform his miracle in the midst of the storm. Can I say that again, Brother Ellis? All God's glory goes if we allow Jesus to perform his miracle in the midst of the storm. Church, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody that we cannot enjoy peace in this world unless we yield to the will of God. If we yield to the will of God, God can, can perform his miracle. Church, God is in control, not man, church. Then the Lord said to the woman, what is this you have done? The woman said, the serpent deceived me, and I ate. How quick we are to point finger, he blamed the serpent. Church, yes, she was tricked. Deceived, but God gave her a command not to eat from the tree in the middle of the garden. Well, Eve told the serpent what the Lord said, church, but she still ate from the tree. I, I'm trying, church, to see what, what, what Eve misunderstood when God said you must not eat from the tree. Church, the tree was in the middle of the garden. He said, don't touch Stay away. But that old devil, that old serpent, that old snake, he tricked Eve, church. Eve was influenced, church. She realized that the fruit of the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eye. She would gain wisdom, be smart at God. Church, if I can use my sanctified imagination, I think that's what got Eve attention, knowing that she would be smart and wise at God. Church, that's our problem in thought today. We listen to the wrong voice. Church, we listen to the wrong voice. Sometimes, church, we listen to, to, the, to a stranger before we listen to our parent, before we listen to our spouse or God. And that's bad, church, when we will listen to other people that we don't know. See, God is smarter than any man or beast, church. Now the serpent that old snake is smart also, church. Don't get me wrong now. That snake is smart too. But God is in control. Church, that devil is a snake. A snake is not to be your pet or friend. A snake will turn on you. A snake will deceive you. A snake will lie to you. A snake will bite you. A snake will destroy you. Church, a snake will bruise your heel if you don't smash his head. 
Church, I say that again. A snake will bruise, a snake will bruise your heel if you don't smash their head. Church, well, I, I, I want to tell a story about a hiker as he was going up a hill, Brother Daniel. Brother Daniel, there was a man hiking. And as he was going up this hill, Brother Daniel, he met a snake on the way. And the snake, sure, he was a, wasn't able to get to the top of the hill. So he saw the hiker, and he asked the hiker, he said, would you give me a lift to the top of the hill, Brother Daniel? And the, and the, and the hiker looked down at the snake, and he held a tape for a few minutes, Brother Daniel. He didn't want to trust this snake. But the snake replied again to him, Brother Daniel. He said, I promise you, if you give me a lift to the top of the hill, Brother Daniel, that I won't bite you. Well, church, the hiker, he decided to trust that snake. So he reached down and he put the snake in his backpack. And Brother Daniel, he was going up that hill. He noticed that snake was moving in his backpack. And he kept going up the hill, Brother Daniel. Well, when he got to the top of the hill, Brother Daniel, he reached down in his backpack. And he pulled the snake out. He laid the snake on the top of the hill, Brother Daniel. Well, church, when he went to pull his hand back, the old snake bite him. And the, and the hiker said, Brother Daniel, oh, you promised me if I gave you a lift to the top of the hill that you wouldn't bite me. Well, sir, the snake replied. He said to the hiker, he said, I was a snake when you picked me up. And I was a snake when you put me down. I say all that to say, church, you can't trust a snake. He will turn on you. So I'm saying, church, don't be fooled by Satan. He will turn on you. So the Lord, God said to the serpent, that old snake, because you haven't done, because you have done this, church, God is angry, displeased with the serpent. God is about to put great harm, some punishment on the serpent, Eve, and Adam, I would say a curse, because they didn't listen and follow his command. So God is no one to play with. Don't play with God. So God told the serpent, the snake, because you have done this, curse will be on you above all the livestock and all the wild animal. He said, see, see the serpent. He knew he was guilty. He, he didn't try, Brother Ellie, to blame anyone when, when the Lord approached him. He knew he was guilty. But God said to the snake, you will not get to walk around on, on your feet like all the other animals. He said, God said, you will crawl on your belly. You will eat dust. All the days of your life, your head will be crushed as you crawl on your bed. Church, if you don't crush a snake head, like I said, he will scratch your heel, meaning a snake will bite you. Church, now, God is getting ready to deal with Eve and Adam because of disobedience. Now, God said to the woman, Eve, because you didn't listen, I will greatly increase your pain in childbearing. Women, go, women's going to suffer a great deal in childbirth. Just because Eve didn't follow God's command. Now to the men, God said, Adam, because you listened to your wife and you ate from the tree which I command you not to eat from, I will curse the ground you walk on. Meaning men on this earth, you're going to have some heartache and pain. You're going to be fatigued. You're going to be tired. You're going to be working hard, overwork. God said, Adam, Pain and toil, you will eat 
of it all the days of your life because you didn't follow my command. Church, we have to understand a sin is a sin. Big or small in God's eyesight, a sin is a sin. Are we going to stop pointing fingers and blaming the other? Well, church, you, you don't want God wrath and anger to come down on you. See, see, see there are some consequences for sinning. Yes, we, we, we're going to be tricked. We're going to be deceived by our own friend, people we know, people we don't know, and people we love are going to deceive us. But before you begin to point fingers or blame someone, try Jesus. Try go to the Lord. Repent and ask for forgiveness. Church, we all have sinned. And falling short of the glory of God. Church, be like Jesus. Well, I read a story in the book of John, chapter 11, where Martha and Mary blamed Jesus because their brother was sick and had died. Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Well, Jesus said to Martha, your brother will rise again. Church, Jesus said, show me where you laid him. Jesus said, Lazarus, Lazarus, rise up or get up. Church, Jesus, he didn't point any finger. He didn't blame anyone. See, Jesus was about his father's business. See, Jesus does miraculous things. So God will get the glory, church. I'm saying to you, church, let God have his way. Well, if I had time, I would take you over in the book of 2 Samuel, first chapter 12, and tell you about King David. Well, when Nathan, Nathan came to King David and told King David what he had done. To Uriah and Bathsheba. Church King David humbled himself. King David didn't blame anyone. A poor thing or try to hide at that point. Church King David repented of his sin. Church, see. What the devil meant for evil. God meant it for good. Church, as I begin to close. I know a man by the name of Jesus Christ. He was crucified, hung on a cross. Jesus was accused. He was blamed, finger pointing, lied on, spit on, beaten. They placed nails in his hand. They placed nails, church, in his feet. They hung him wide high. This question wide. Church, they pierced his side as he hung on that cross. But Jesus didn't point finger. Jesus didn't blame anyone. Jesus didn't try to hide. All Jesus did as he hung on that cross. Church, he dropped his head in the lock of his shoulder. And he said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. And Jesus gave up the government. Church, I'm saying to you today, as we point finger, as we blame one another, as we try to hide, church, we won't be able to see or hear God say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Church, we have to be more like Jesus. When people begin to point fingers or when people blame us, all you have to do is fall on your knees and ask the Lord to show me the way. Lord, I know we all have sinned, and I know we're not perfect. 
and I know Satan is coming. He's a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. But I'm asking you, put on the whole armor of God. Don't let Satan deceive you. Church, that's the lesson. Don't be fooled or tricked by Satan. Church, stop pointing fingers. Stop hiding. And stop blaming others for your mistake. That's the work of the devil. Now that our eyes have been opened, we have the knowledge of the truth. We shouldn't be so easy, church, to fall into Satan's scheme and trick. But it's possible. But I say stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. That's our weapon when Satan comes. Pray and pray and pray. As I extend the invitation, there may be someone today that want to put on Christ. Someone may want to step out like our young lady did last Sunday and give their life to Christ. The water is ready. But first, you must hear the word. And once you heard the word, then you must believe. And after you believe, then you have to repent. And once you repent, then you make that confession. And then we'll take you down in this water. We'll baptize you. Then you can come up a new creature in Christ. Old things have been passed away. Amen? But if you just need prayer, or you have scrayed away from the fold, and you want to come back home, you can also do that. As together we stand and sing the imitation song. God has smiled on me. He has set me free, and you know that God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Help me sing now. God has smiled on me. He has set me free, and you know that God has smiled on me, and he's been good to me. God has been good, mighty good. He's a good God. We serve a God can do all things but fail. I see we have one present. I see we have one.